Shalom, good evening. Thank you all for coming. Please welcome Seth Chaim Goldstein, representing this evening the founding alumni group of the Hebrew Academy, who are 80 strong and are the proud leaders of our growing Jewish community. A round of applause for Seth Goldstein and the alumni group. Come up, Seth. Note to self, note to self, don't use your regular speaking bio for the Hebrew Academy dinner. <laughs> I told a friend of mine that I was going to California uh, on Sunday for the dinner for my day school. Uh, I was going to take a 5.15 a.m. flight out of Baltimore, Washington International Airport on Sunday morning, and I was going to take the red eye, I'm going to take the red eye, back tonight, and then I have to work all day tomorrow. My friend was shocked. He said, you're doing that for your day school? What could be so special about a day school? So I told him, you don't understand. Everything about my day school, the Hebrew Academy, is special, very special. Let me give you a bit of, of, of personal history. I went to public school for kindergarten and first grade. I was a lousy student. I got lousy grades. I hated school. Perhaps my experience was atypical of public school. Um, actually, it probably was atypical because my first grade teacher was fired the next year because she tied a little girl to her, her chair with a jump rope. <laughs> <laughs> but, be that as it may, be that as it may, um, in any event, my educational career went from one extreme to the other when my parents enrolled me in the Hebrew Academy for second grade. Now, at the Hebrew Academy, I found an infectious, jubilant love of learning. Learning, of all things, everything and anything. My love of Chumash comes from our, our beloved second and third grade teacher, Rebetzin Shusterman. Aleha Shalom. And our beloved fourth grade teacher, Rabbi Kurtzman. Aleha Shalom. My love of studying, of, of, my love of studying Gemara comes from our, from our fifth, sixth and seventh grade teacher, a certain Rabbi Newman, <laughs> and our ninth grade uh, teacher, Rabbi Pekarski. The secular studies program was also amazing. I still remember what I learned about meteorology, Vincent van Gogh, Renoir, Norman Rockwell, and a whole bunch of other topics all from Mrs. Allison. I learned how to write from Mrs. Short. My love of history comes from Dr. Lerner. There was, a great there, was, there was a great excitement about learning at the Hebrew Academy, but it was also very competitive. Out of my group of about six or seven very close friends, four are now attorneys. One of them is the uh, leading entertainment attorney in Los Angeles. One is a, one of the head prosecutors in, uh, in Israel. He, uh, he's one of the leading prosecutors for the Israeli government. Um, one is, um, it has his own uh, law practice in Long Beach and was previously the president of the Hebrew Academy. And, and finally, there's me. And so you can imagine it was very, very competitive. Um, but besides the, rigorous, besides the rigorous academic program, it was balanced with a plethora of, of extracurricular activities. And that was mostly due to Rabbi Newman and Rabbi Engel. Rabbi Engel created the summer camp, as you all know, Gan Yisrael, which gave me some of my fondest childhood memories. Rabbi Engel gave us a love of Yiddishkeit and a Simcha Sachayim, 
of joyous love of life, Rabbi Newman was constantly taking us to ball games, to amusement parks, Mr. Alavi's amusement parks, all kinds of amusement parks. <laughs> um, one year he, crea he created a sleepaway camp in the Napa Valley. Um, we visited uh, Governor Jerry Brown. Yep, that's the very same Jerry Brown as now in Sacramento. We took a trip to New York. Rabbi Newman took us on a trip to New York. All different kinds of amazing things. So you see, the Hebrew Academy is not an ordinary day school. The proof is in the alumni, doctors, scientists, educators, accountants, lawyers, active in their communities, raising the next generation of the Jewish people. We the, fun we, the founding alumni, would like to express our deepest appreciation to all of our rabbis, rabbitsons, and teachers at the Hebrew Academy. And we would also like to express our deepest appreciation to all of you, the supporters of the Hebrew Academy, who have given so many children the opportunity to attend the Hebrew Academy. <laughs> Finally, we appreciate our parents who chose to send us to the Hebrew Academy, often at financial sacrifice. And by the way, there are um, at least three uh, uh, parents uh, of the founding alumni. Uh, Mrs. Cohn is here and, um, and the Simons are here. Um, it, was, it was a bold decision to take a chance on a new school, but 43 years later, we are very grateful that they did. So thank you, thank you all very, very much. That is wonderful. What a tribute. Thank you so much, Seth. I'd now like to call up the alumni of the class 80 to 82 that are here in the audience. Please come up here, and I want to give a little gift for you. To you. Yeah. Okay, we're waiting. Just take a moment here. We're going to all line up here on the. Uh, remember when you did this during a play on the stage in, in uh, either Long Beach or Huntington Beach with all your cars? Please come up. Line up on the on the stage uh, for a moment. Watch your step. I got, I'm good, thanks.
Let's give them a hand. These kids waited 40 years for this.